Hello everybody, it's Syl, and I wanted to welcome you guys back to some more Clan Generator. Um, I have been having a little bit of problems when it comes to this game, no fault of the game itself. I suppose it's more of a trying to find uh, a format that I enjoy where I can just play this game, you guys have fun, I have fun. But for a lot of the times when I've been trying to come back to this game, it feels very difficult to do so because I feel like I'm not doing much of anything with the clan I establish, with the stories, with the relationships, and instead I'm just sort of speed running through it. And I don't find that fun. I don't think you guys really find that fun uh, either. I do still want to do my best to make progress and do continue things, but for this time I'm going to try and slow it down at least a little bit, really kind of take my time when it comes to checking things out, checking the relationships, seeing what um, I would really enjoy uh, by making this into another series, and I've come up with a little bit of a story, a little bit of things for the characters, but not too much of a backstory. I know that doesn't make sense, but it's more about making it for the individual characters rather than the clan itself. And I will go ahead and introduce you to them, and I will read off what I have come up with so far. If you would like to read along with me, uh, you can. I will have the notes and everything that I took in the description, so then that way you guys can follow along. So here we have Roach Clan, a clan that essentially lives in a wasteland where there's a bunch of tires, oil drums, dirty mattresses, not really good uh, living spaces. There's a building of what I think is meant to be like some kind of old farmhouse out in the back. And these are where our cats live. This is kind of a dumping area almost near what I will say is possibly like an abandoned farmhouse over there, uh, considering this place is so uh, decrepit. But there are chances that two legs may come here due to, you know, ghost stories and the like. Because there is like a little, what almost seems to be like a campfire pit here. So I do believe that maybe sometimes uh, two legs come around here to scare each other or as a dare for each other and things like that. But for starters, let's go ahead and introduce all of our clan members here. So first things first, we have Blue Star. So Blue Star is a masked pale and white she cat with pale blue eyes. She is confident, a good kid sitter, and has valuable insight. She is the youngest warrior in the clan. She became leader when her former leader died from eating rat poison though many cats were concerned with her being so young to lead. She is confident in her abilities to lead and wishes to disprove any doubts about her. She was a single kit in her litter and was spoiled by her father, who also became her mentor, giving her a big confidence boost when she was young. Unfortunately, her parents were taken away by two legs in the steel metal traps, and unfortunately, they were never seen again. So that is for Dear Blue Star here. Next up, we have her deputy, Tiny Noise. Now, Tiny Noise is a golden brown ticked tabby and white tom with amber eyes. He is thoughtful and a skilled mediator. He was originally one of the cats who doubted Blue Star would be a good leader with her young age, but he was more concerned about her feeling the pressure of leadership. Due to his good intentions and wanting to help her, he was chosen to be her deputy. They have an odd mentor-apprentice relationship where Blue Star looks to him for his input on decisions. I think that's I think that's pretty good for little for tiny noise here. 
Next up, we have our medicine cat, Lilac Wind. Lilac Wind is a long furred black smoke tom with heather blue eyes. He is bold and a prophet. He has been around to see three new leaders earn their lives within his lifetime. He wasn't doubtful of Blue Star as he saw a vision about her becoming leader. He firmly believes that she's meant to be leader when he saw a sign of a bright blue star in the sky. He enjoys trying out different herb treatments and methods in order to see if a new idea could work. He is welcoming to any new ideas or change. Next up we have our warriors. First is Small Blur here. Small Blur is a rosette spotted silver tom with cyan eyes. He is charismatic and a den builder. He grew up with Tiny Noise, being an unofficial adopted brother to him. He grew up to be very charming to other cats, helping to teach Tiny Noise how to be skillful with wording, leading Tiny Noise to become a skilled mediator. He often bonds with his clanmates when new dens need to be built or dens need to be repaired, and finds that it brings the clan closer together. He does his best to keep his relations with everybody light and joyful. Next up, we have Marigold Jaw. Marigold Jaw is a golden tabby tom with pale blue eyes. He's charismatic, a good storyteller, and a good climber. Originally found as a kit and brought into the clan when he was younger by Lilac Wind. He doesn't know who his original family was, or why he had been the only one to come to the clan, but Lilac Wind was the one who gave him his new name, Marigold Kit, of course, af naming him after the Golden Herb. Part of him does see the Medicine Cat as a father figure, as Lilac Wind was the one who took him in. He became a warrior a bit early and was very proud of himself for it. He does have some doubts about Blue Star, though he doesn't voice it but a part of him is jealous of how Lilac Wind defends Blue Star. Next up, we have our one and only elder, Skiptail. Skiptail is a long furred pale tabby she-cat with amber eyes. She is wise, has helpful insight, and is a good speaker. Being the oldest cat in the clan, she loves to share wisdom with her clanmates, often being the one who adopted kids who didn't have any parents to help care for them. She had decided to retire when she kept experiencing a lot of joint pain. Even in her elderly age, she still adopts and mothers orphaned kids, having no blood-related kits of her own. She switches between staying in the elder's den and the nursery. She is currently taking care of four kits, Bramble Kit, Daffodil Kit, Hound Kit, and Prim Kit. First up, we have little Bramble Kit. Bramble Kit is a cream tabby tom with amber eyes. He's an attention seeker and a lover of stories. He had originally been found with his three brothers and Skip Tail was the one to adopt them quickly. Part of him hates having to listen to others when he feels like he's the one who should be listened to, but another part of him loves hearing the stories from Skiptail. He has a small rivalry with his brothers and originally wasn't happy about getting a younger sister. We then have little Daffodil Kit. Daffodil Kit is a golden tom with gold eyes. He is quiet and quick-witted. While being the quiet one of his brothers, he does hold a grudge if someone crosses him. He likes to be quiet in order to think of solutions to problems faster, even able to avoid most conflicts because of it. Secretly, he likes having a younger sister, often spending time with her. He likes to be the smarter one out of his brothers and to help his sister if she has any issues, especially with Bramble Kit. Next up, we have Hound Kit. Hound Kit is a brown tabby tom with cyan eyes. He is daring and an avid play fighter. He is the troublemaker out of his brothers, often seeking to go on wild adventures. He often play fights with Bramble Kit, wanting to be the best warrior. He tries to get Daffodil Kit to join in on the fun, but his brother doesn't enjoy being rough and tumble like him. 
he has influenced his little sister to be as daring as him, much to the dismay of Daffodil Kit. Though he gets in trouble, he'll always be there to defend his siblings against anything. We then have little Primkit, the little sister. Primkit is a white and bangled ginger she-cat with sage green eyes. She is daring and a moss ball hunter. She often follows her brothers around and wants to be involved within the games that they play. While Daffodil Kit won't wrestle with her, he does play moss ball with her, teaching her the best ways to pounce and catch it. Hound Kit is the one who teaches her how to wrestle and how to use her teeth and claws, but also teaching her to how to be careful with her strength. She often gets into fights with Bramble Kit because he hates not having the attention on him, but they both still have fun together. And last but not least, we have our Star Clan guide, Bog Splash. Bog Splash, a light ginger and white she cat with sunlit ice eyes. She was bloodthirsty, a great teacher, and a good fighter. She was originally a cat who had her sights on becoming deputy, even having these urges to kill the current deputy to take their place. That was until there was a great flood the deputy getting caught up in the waves. She sacrificed her life to save the deputy and was allowed into Star Clan for her bravery. So I will repeat some of the uh, relations again, just so then that way we're all kind of on the same page here. Uh, Tiny Noise and Small Blur are basically like unofficial adopted brothers to each other. Tiny Noise and Blue Star have a mentor-apprentice relationship. Lilac Wind and Marigold Jaw have an unofficial father-son relationship. Marigold Jaw and Blue Star kind of have a one-sided sibling rivalry. Uh, she doesn't really know that Marigold Jaw is rivaling with her. Bramble Kid, Daffodil Kit, and Hound Kit are all blood-related brothers. Uh, skip Tail towards the Kits is an adopted mother-child relationship. Bramble Kit and Prim Kit have an annoying sibling relationship. Daffodil Kit and Prim Kit have a caring older brother and reckless little sister type of relationship. And Hound Kit and Prim Kit are troublemaker siblings together. Alrighty. And that is all. Checking my settings. I have exact uh, XP showing the moons and seasons widget. Relation. I'm only increasing uh, same sex uh, adoption and things like that. Role settings. I'm allowing leaders to choose a new deputy and to have warriors and elders choose to become mediators. These are currently our clan stats here. Our clan's pretty small. But that's okay. These three are about to become apprentices rather soon. So I think I will start this off by having uh, these two go on a patrol together. Let's see. Looks around to disguise. They're sent for hunting. They couldn't think of anything, but they managed to work well regardless. We'll have these three go out on a herb gathering patrol. I think this could be an interesting dynamic. Let's see, they're looking for ragwort, and they actually managed to find it, which is pretty good. All right, next moon. Primkit found some flowers. Bramblepaw's an apprentice. Daffodilpaw has blue stars, his mentor. Houndpaw has marigold jaw. And then let's see here. Primkit had a fight with Smobbler. <laughs> I suppose she would. Bramblepaw thinks he can tell Blue Star something important. Smobbler didn't notice Marigold Jaw leaving camp. Smobbler snapped at Houndkit's, uh, sorry, now Houndpaw's annoying antics. Marigold Jaw tells Bramblepaw to count on him in a difficult situation. Marigold Jaw and Primkit uh, swaps prey. Daffodil Paw is happy to have a clanmate like his sister. Daffodil Paw, Tiny Noise, and Bramble Paw all took a nice little sunbath. 
Blue Star had too harsh of a judgment against Tiny Noise, but realized it. Tiny Noise thinks Bramblepaw was nice to him today, and also cleared up a misunderstanding with him. Tiny Noise pranced around Marigold Jaw. Lilac Wind thinks Daffodil Paw is very helpful. Lilac Wind thought Bramblepaw's life was easy and was proven incorrect. Houndpaw was being condescending towards Blue Star. Skiptail spent a long time talking with Primkit. And she also thinks Primkit is very helpful. All right, let's see. Bramblepaw, he is now childish and a lover of stories, having small blur as his mentor. We then have Daffodil Paw, who is righteous and quick-witted, having Blue Star as his mentor. We then have Hound Paw, who is charismatic and an avid play fighter, and his mentor is Marigold Jaw, and he's also currently playing a prank on his mentor. I don't think that's very wise, but okay. Let's see, Skip Tail has a rough nest. Primkit's trying to growl menacingly. Blue Star is asking Daffodil Paw if he's ready for an assessment. Goodness. Tiny Noise is in awe of Blue Star's leadership. Lilac Wind wonders how Small Blur is doing. Small Blur is making everyone laugh. Marigold Jaw is hoping Blue Star doesn't assign him to the Dawn Patrol tomorrow. Goodness. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do some training patrols here. Practicing some new fighting techniques where they both had a good time learning. Let's see. Found an old abandoned badger set and uh, face planted into some walls because of it. Talking about possibly having dreams from Star Clan. Let's see. Wasn't able to cheer up poor Lilac Wind, unfortunately. Tiny Noise has a little stomach ache. Primkit thinks Tiny Noise is being thoughtful of others. Bramblepaw stuttered while speaking to Tiny Noise. Small Blur and Skiptail enjoy each other's company. Small Blur and Bramblepaw realize they have more in common than they thought. Marigold Jaw and Tiny Noise got along better today. Marigold Jaw challenged little Primkit to spar with him. Daffodil Paw shared a joke about a neighboring clan with Marigold Jaw. Blue Star overheard Tiny Noise spreading a hurtful rumor. Interesting. Tiny Noise assures Skip Tail about something that was bothering her. Tiny Noise tells Hound Paw to count on him in a difficult situation. Lilac Wind is having a good time discussing clan news with Hound Paw. Lilac Wind admires how brave Blue Star is. Hound Paw surprises Bramble Paw with something nice. Skiptail admires how brave Primkit is, and Skiptail offers to groom a hard-to-reach place for Daffodil Paw, who thanks his adopted mom. Oh, very cute. All right, let's go on some patrols, learning new fighting techniques, and they had a good time. Daffodil Paw is not acting like his usual self, and they each had a talk about making mistakes and learning from them. See, there's a bison, but unfortunately, Houndpaw couldn't take the lesson seriously. Tiny Noise told Lilac Wind about a potential vision, but Lilac Wind couldn't make any sense of said vision. Unfortunate. Let's see. Let's have a quick little drink of water here. Tiny Noise no longer has a stomach ache, and Lilac Wind found some cat mint, but got stung by a bee, unfortunately. Prim Kid asks Small Blur how he is doing. Bramble Paw apologized to Small Blur about something. Prim Kid challenged Small Blur, sorry, Small Blur to a race. Hound Paw can't help but laugh when Small Blur tells a funny joke. 
Marigold Jaw and Bramblepaw joke around about how bad the other clans smell. Marigold Jaw asks Primkit about something complicated and is amazed at how quickly Primkit understands. Daffodil Paw appreciates Tiny Noise, telling him that he had a feather stuck to his face. Daffodil Paw, Hound Paw, and Skiptail took a sunbath and had a little bit of some small talk. Blue Star is talking with Hound Paw. Tiny Noise thinks the prey Marigold Jaw is biting into looks delicious and is jealous. Tiny Noise didn't tell Bramblepaw about the feather stuck to his face, so Bramblepaw spent the whole day looking silly. Lilac Wind sees Tiny Noise's piece of prey and decides to swap with him. Lilac Wind gave Small Blur a task. Houndpaw said something really rude to Skiptail. Skiptail and Small Blur argued about something trivial and neither of them apologized. Skiptail is sharpening her claws near Small Blur. Interesting. That's uh, it's quite the, uh, the thing there, Skiptail. She currently also wants to get to know Tiny Noise better. Prim Kid is trying to sneak out of camp with a patrol, naughty lady. Houndpaw saw some two legs today. Daffodil Paw wonders if he'll have to fight a battle anytime soon. Bramblepaw is having a hard time keeping up with his training. Marigold Jaw is grateful to Lilac Wind. Small Blur recently gave a good speech to his clanmates to boost morale. Lilac Wind is deciding to try a new herb as treatment for an injury. Tiny Noise is doing his best to honor his clan and leader. Blue Star is giving some advice to Skiptail. Okay. All right, now time for our usual patrols. Trying to hide within the tall grass, but couldn't manage to be quiet enough to avoid detection. Talking about possible visions from Star Clan. See, there's an old abandoned badger tunnel, and he face planted into the walls, unfortunate. Let's see. Tiny Noise unfortunately got a small cut when he stepped on a thorn, but otherwise is okay. Primpa is now an apprentice. Primpa finds the way Daffodil Paw acts increasingly uncomfortable. Interesting. Bramble Paw and Small Blur agree on something trivial. Small Blur nods politely as Hound Paw passes by. Small Blur promises to always look out for Hound Paw. Marigold Jaw doesn't understand how Daffodil Paw got so good at hunting. Marigold Jaw cheers up Prim Paw after a small disagreement. Daffodil Paw cheers up Hound Paw after a small disagreement. Blue Star asks Tiny Noise to help her freshen up some battle moves and compliments him constantly during it. Tiny Noise spends some time with Marigold Jaw and they both end up understanding each other a little better. Daffodil Paw meows hello to Tiny Noise, but they look pretty glum still. Lilac Wind can't stand being around Small Blur. Lilac Wind basks in the sun with Daffodil Paw. Hound Paw stands tall when Tiny Noise walks by. Skip Tail is disappointed when Prim Paw doesn't uphold a promise. Skip Paw thinks the prey Tiny Noise is eating into looks delicious and she is jealous. Skiptail is currently eavesdropping on Small Blur. Primpaw is playing a prank on her brother Daffodil Paw. She is now adventurous, a mossball hunter, and quick to help. She's got Tiny Noise as her mentor. Houndpaw hopes Tiny Noise notices how well his training has been going. Daffodil Paw refused to follow his mentor's orders due to his own morals. Bramble Paw feels proud of the progress he's made. Marigold Jaw saw some two legs. Small Blur wonders at all that Skiptail has what you know Skiptail has seen and or done. Lilac Wind decides to try another new herb treatment. Tiny Noise is wondering if kitty pet life is really so bad. Blue Star had a nightmare involving a two leg trap. Oh, from her parents. Goodness. All right. Let's go on our patrols. 
Another badger set. Face planting some more into walls, of course, of course. Cave footing and was freed and unharmed, thankfully. Has an argument and was fairly chastened. Nice little sunny spot. As Primpa has been working very, very hard. Lilac Wind managed to find some goldenrod, which is great. Had a nice little time frolicking in the fields. Primpa was seen taking food from a two leg. Small blur chased off a rogue. Lilac Wind's bee sting is better, and Haupa has gotten rid of his fleas. Primpa is glad to have a clan mate like Marigold Jaw. Brambapa appreciates Small Blur telling him that he had a feather stuck to his face. Small Blur spent a long time talking with Houndpaw. Small Blur thinks Daffodil Paw isn't very considerate of others. Miracle Draw asks Brambapa how he's doing. Miracle Draw noticed Primpa is always the first to volunteer for a difficult task. Daffodil Paw cheers up Lilac Wind after a small disagreement. Blue Star feels safe with Houndpaw around. Interesting. Tiny Noise noticed Lilac Wind flirting with someone else. Ooh. Okay. Tiny Noise can't stand being around Houndpaw. Lilac Wind thinks Blue Star is being thoughtful of others. Lilac Wind appreciates Houndpaw's helpful attitude. Houndpaw avoids running into any cat, but Blue Star interrupts his peaceful silence. Skiptail saw Small Blur the other day, but didn't get a chance to say hello. And Skiptail is talking with her son, Bramblepaw. Okay. Skiptail is currently feeling a little nervous. Primpaw saw a pair of two legs near camp. Houndpaw is eavesdropping on his mentor, Marigold Jaw. Daffodilpaw again refused to follow his mentor's recent orders due to his own morals. Grandpapa would like to become as great as Tiny Noise one day. Miracle Jaw wants to be chosen as a new deputy. Small Blur is laughing with friends. Lilac Wind is thinking about taking on an apprentice. Tiny Noise is spending time watching fish in a nearby river. And Blue Star is eavesdropping on her deputy Tiny Noise. Okay. Let's go ahead and have our patrols here. Nice little sunny spot where they opened up to each other. Talking about having visions from Star Clan and is told to do his best to get enough rest for his training. Practicing new hunting techniques and they each had a very good time learning from one another. There's an old badger set. They check out and they found a badger, but they managed to run away before getting injured. Lilac Wind is trying to find some poppy seeds and did manage to get some. All right, pretty good. Small Blur confessed his feelings to Blue Star, but got rejected. Interesting turn of events. Primpaw has drawn the ire of Houndpaw by deliberately taking the last of his favorite nesting materials for herself. Yeah, I guess they would cause trouble with each other. They are uh, like siblings. Bramblepaw finds the way Miracle Draw acts increasingly uncomfortable. Interesting. Small Blur spent a long time talking with Houndpaw. Small Blur is also happy to be around Houndpaw. Small Blur decorates Blue Star's nest with flowers to surprise her. And did get rejected. <laughs> Marigold Jaw has been spending time with Lilac Wind lately. Yeah, I mean, they do have a father son relation. Marigold Jaw challenged Primpaw to spar with him. Daffodil Paw is stuttering while speaking to Marigold Jaw. Blue Star appreciates how Small Blur always seems to ask how she's doing. Tiny Noise is happy to run into Primpaw today. Tiny Noise surprised Daffodil Paw with something nice. 
Tiny Noise is developing a crush on Miracle Draw. Ooh. Lilac Wind had a difficult conversation with Small Blur, which ended with both of them being resentful of each other. Lilac Wind spends some time with Daffodil Paw, and they understand each other better. Houndpaw is surprised by Bramblepaw being thoughtful. Skip Tail is jealous of the prey that Blue Star is eating. Skip Tail appreciates her son Houndpaw telling her she had a feather stuck to her face. Okay. She's also eavesdropping on her son Houndpaw. Primpaw is thinking about how bad kitty pet food must taste. Houndpaw thinks his sister Primpaw needs to work on her stalking technique. Daffodilpaw practices his hunting on a smooth rock that he found. Bramblepaw is this moon's heartthrob to the other apprentices. Well, I, I, I would imagine the apprentices from the other clan, since the only other apprentices are his siblings, and that would be weird. Miracle Jaw is playing a prank on Blue Star. All right. I'm not too sure if that's the best idea, but I guess you do have a little bit of a rivalry with her. Small Blur is feeling unappreciated. Lilac Wind has been hearing the voices of Star Clan cats. What are they saying, Lilac Wind? Tiny Noise is assessing the apprentices. Blue Star wants to go on a patrol with Primpaw. All right. Oh, you're going to go with your current apprentice. Uh, he's the one that needs training. <laughs> Alright, let's see. There's a herd of bison, but unfortunately Bramblepaw couldn't take the training seriously. Practicing some new hunting techniques, and they each had a good time. Some new fighting techniques, but unfortunately didn't step up to teach. Tunnel navigation, face planted into the walls, of course. Trying to find some cobwebs, but couldn't make any sense of a vision that he had. Prempa worked extra hard to impress her mentor, but was extremely sore when she woke up the next morning. Bramble Paw is now Bramble Shade in honor for his social ability. Small Blur confessed to Blue Star again and got rejected. Houndpaw is now Hound Tough, honoring his gregariousness. Skip Tail wandered out into the territory and was later found dead. Oh dear. Rest in peace, Skip Tail. Poor girl. I guess it was just her time. Primpaw prays that she's not on patrol with Blue Star tomorrow. Bramble Shade has a mock battle with Blue Star. Small Blur spends some time with his unofficial adopted brother, Tiny Noise, and they both end up understanding each other a bit better. Small Blur is surprised that Primpaw's life isn't as easy as he thought it was. Small Blur noticed just how beautiful Blue Star's eyes are and got rejected. <laughs> Miracle Jaw approves of Skip Tail's recent efforts before she passed. Miracle Jaw admires how brave Primpaw is. Daffodil Paw offers to groom a hard to reach place for Tiny Noise. Blue Star nods politely as Bramble Shade passes by. Blue Star, Miracle Jaw, and Primpaw had a nice talk. Blue Star thinks Miracle Jaw is the most beautiful cat in the clan. Wow. Tiny Noise is bossing Miracle Jaw around. Tiny Noise approves of Bramble Shade's recent efforts. Lilac Wind and Small Blur heckled another clan at the gathering together. Lilac Wind is always happy to be around Small Blur. Hound Tough wants to spend more time with Small Blur. Skip Tail er hissed at her son Bramble Shade over something small before she passed. And she had also seen Daffodil Paw the other day and got the chance to say hello to him. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Primpaw is currently injured as she is sore a little bit, but she's dreaming of someday making her clan proud. Daffodil Paw will never forget his adopted mother, Skip Tail. He is now also never sits still, as a new trait. 
Houndtuft is in awe of Blue Star's leadership. He has become charismatic and a formidable fighter, no doubt thanks uh, to his mentor Marigold Jaw. <laughs> Bramble Shade is eavesdropping on Lilac Wind. He is now charismatic and a great storyteller. I guess that is also due to his mentor, uh, Small Blur. Marigold Jaw is trying to set a good example for younger cats. Small Blur spends all day chatting and laughing with other warriors. Lilac Wind is checking up on the warriors. Tiny Noise misses the warmth that Skip Tail brought to his life. Oh. Blue Star is headed to the dirt place. Okay, so we are going to have you guys go on your training patrols. There's a bunch of badger tunnels, but couldn't take the lesson too seriously, unfortunately. Another tunnel lesson, and actually managed to uh, find a little slide that they could go down. We're going to just have Lilac Wind go on his own, where he's trying to find some wild garlic and manage to find some. These four can just go along together, where there's a gang of rogues. I don't think we are going to fight them, especially with two brand new warriors. We're not going to do that. I know one is a formidable fighter, but that's only one of them, and he's a brand new warrior. Doesn't have a lot of experience. I just don't think it's a good idea. Prempa is all better now. Daffodil Paw is now Daffodil Dream, honoring his wit, and Lilac Wind believes he is meant for something greater. Interesting. Prim Paw had a difficult conversation with Lilac Wind, and they understand each other now. Bramble Shade clears up a misunderstanding with Daffodil Dream. Small Blur thinks about how lucky he is to have someone like Blue Star as a friend. Small Blur thinks Daffodil Dream is being annoying. Marigold Jaw saw Lilac Wind being considerate. Marigold Jaw told his secret to Primpaw, only for Primpaw to tell someone else's secret to him. Daffodil Dream said something that rubbed Blue Star the wrong way. Blue Star wants to spend more time with Bramble Shade. Blue Star, Daffodil Dream, and Hound Tuft had a nice talk. Tiny Noise is telling Primpaw about a hunting technique. Tiny Noise shared a joke with a neighboring clan with his apprentice Primpaw. Lilac Wind is talking with Blue Star. Lilac Wind told Blue Star to count on him in a difficult situation. Tiny Noise accidentally stepped on Hound Tuff's foot and pretended not to notice. That was rude. Primpaw is teasing her brother Daffodil Dream for missing an easy catch. Daffodil Dream calms himself down by thinking how Star Clan will see to things. He is righteous, clever, and a fast runner. Hound Tuft is sparring. Bramble Shade is having a hard day. Marigold Jaw saw a kitty pet in the two leg garden. Small Blur is trying to set a good example for the younger cats. Lilac Wind is wondering if he could borrow some cat mint from the other clans. Tiny Noise saw a two leg kit playing with a dog. And Blue Star is currently craving a frog right now. Alright, well, we're going to have these two go out on the usual training patrol. Some new fighting techniques. And actually had a good session together. We'll just have Lilac Wind go by himself. Let's see, currently looking for some daisy leaves. And did manage to find some. Have a nice big patrol here. Where they came across a large rat. But unfortunately, they missed the rat and their confidence was shaken. Primpaw is now Prim Spec, honored for her energy. I think she got her warrior name early. I could be incorrect, though. Prim Spec is surprised by Tiny Noise being thoughtful. Bramble Shade and Blue Star got along better today. Small Blur swapped prey with Blue Star. Small Blur feels safe with Bramble Shade around. Miracle Jaw appreciates Small Blur for telling him he had a feather stuck to his face. Primspec is amused at how Miracle Jaw manages to look so grumpy. Daffodil Dream reassures Miracle Jaw about something that was bothering him. Daffodil Dream sneaks out at night to sleep in Miracle Jaw's nest. Okay. Blue Star is sparring with Bramble Shade. 
Tiny Noise finds a bit of fluff that smells like bramble shade and adds it to his nest. Okay. Tiny Noise hopes he is assigned to patrol with bramble shade tomorrow. Lilac Wind comes up with a plan to sneak out of camp with Tiny Noise. Lilac Wind is sharpening his claws near Prim Speck. Lilac Wind ensnares Small Blur with a charming smile. Hound Tuff complains some about something Lilac Wind did. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to fully see if any of these traits change when she is one moon older. She is also showing off a trinket she found while exploring. Daffodil Dream saw a kitty pet. Hound Tuft wants to be the new deputy. Well, you need to have had an apprentice first, and there is none. Brambleshade is hoping Blue Star doesn't assign him to the Dawn Patrol tomorrow. Marigold Jaw is already grooming his silky soft coat. Small Blur almost choked on his prey. Lilac Wind wonders how Tiny Noise is doing. Tiny Noise is assigning cats to patrol the borders. Blue Star is looking forward to the next gathering. I'm actually going to put Small Blur and Blue Star in a patrol together just to see how they do. So Rabbit on another clan border. I don't think he would do that. Lilac Wind by himself. Trying to find some dandelions and managed to found managed to find some. Let's see. Daffodil Dream is tempted to eat the prey he just caught, but resisted that temptation. Okay, good. Prince Peck has a mild headache, and Lilac Wind now has frostbite, which isn't good. Prince Peck is amazed at how skilled her brother Daffodil Dream really is. Brambleshade reassured Small Blur about something. Small Blur is talking with Brambleshade. Small Blur tells Hound Tuft a secret. Small Blur thinks Miracle Jaw is really charming. Miracle Jaw challenged Small Blur to spar with him. Miracle Jaw and Prince Speck heckled another clan at the gathering. Daffodil Dream appreciates how his brother Hound Tuff always seems to ask how he's doing. Blue Star notices how Miracle Jaw is being helpful. Tiny Noise appreciates Daffodil Dream by telling him that he had a feather stuck to his face. Tiny Noise had a huge argument with Hound Tuft. Lilac Wind asks Brambleshade how he's doing. Lilac Wind stands tall when Miracle Jaw walks by. Hound Tuft reassures Small Blur about something that was bothering him. I guess Lilac Wind is still trying to be a good role model for uh, Miracle Jaw. Primspec, she is adventurous, a great teacher, and a good hunter, and is currently eavesdropping on her older brother Brambleshade. Daffodil Dream saw some two legs. Hound Tuft is sparring. Brambleshade's having a hard day. Miracle Jaw wants to critique Daffodil Dream's fighting techniques. Small Blur is trying to set a good example. Lilac Wind is craving a bird. Tiny Noise daydreams about being a warrior in an ancient clan. And Blue Star is currently having a hard day. Well, we'll have you two go out, see how well that goes again. Ooh, there's a possible kitty pet encounter. And we managed to bring the kitty pet back to camp. Their name is Jade. I'll check them out here in a second. Let's see. Found something weird. And managed to drive away a predator. Okay. Let's check out this new cat, Jade. He is thoughtful and a renowned hunter. He is currently sick. We will change his name to be something else. You will be Cricket. Cricket Hollow. Lilac Wind is developing a running nose as well as the frostbite, which isn't good. Primspec feels better. Primspec thinks about how her brother Daffodil Dream is always reliable. Brambleshade is letting Tiny Noise share troubles with him. Small Blur thinks Lilac Wind is very helpful. Small Blur is sharing gossip with Hound Tuft. Marigold Jaw turns to his adopted father, Lilac Wind, in a time of need. Miracle Jaw is happy to grab some fresh kill for Primspec. Daffodil Dream greets Miracle Jaw as 
they exit the warrior's den. Blue Star thinks Prim Speck was nice to her today. Tiny Noise saw Cricket Hollow being rude. Tiny Noise divides Hound Tuft into extra patrols. Lilac Wind and Bramble Shade heckled another clan together. Lilac Wind cheered up Prim Speck. Hound Tuft appreciates Lilac Wind telling him he had a feather stuck to his face. Cricket Hollow is letting Lilac Wind share his troubles with him. Cricket Hollow noticed that Hound Tuft is always the first one to volunteer for a difficult task. Prim Speck wants to critique Small Blur's fighting techniques. Daffodil Dream always cheers the loudest of any cat at naming ceremonies. Hound Tuff wants to get to know Marigold Jaw better. Bramble Shade saw some two legs. Marigold Jaw is giving advice to Daffodil Dream. Small Blur wonders what living with two legs would be like. Cricket Hollow is trying to work twice as hard to prove his worth to the clan born cats. Lilac Wind almost got lost near some two leg nests. Tiny Noise is playing a prank on Hound Tuft, and Blue Star is staring off into space. Yeah. Let's see, some paw prints in the mud, and manage to drive off a rogue together. So sound, and manage to catch a mouse together, which is good. Prinspec is yearning for adventure. Cricket Hollow survived Yellow Cough, Lilac Winds recovered from his frostbite, Daffodil Dream chased off a rogue from the territory. Prinspec goes to tell Bramble Shade a secret, only for Bramble Shade to tell someone else's secret. Primspec, Marigold Jaw, and Lilac Wind had a good talk. Bramble Shade did a price swap with Tiny Noise. Sorry, cat. Do not chew on my cords, please. Hound Tuft meows a small hello to Small Blur. Small Blur always thought Prim Speck had it all figured out, so he was surprised when Prim Speck asked him for help. Miracle Jaw has a mock battle with Small Blur. Miracle Jaw and Prim Speck are inseparable and can always be found with each other. Daffodil Dream said something really rude to Marigold Jaw. Blue Star swapped prey with Bramble Shade. Tiny Noise helped Miracle Jaw pick out birds out of his fur. Tiny Noise spent some time with Bramble Shade and they understood each other a bit better. Lilac Wind surprised Small Blur with something nice. Blue Star is amused at how Lilac Wind manages to look so grumpy. Hound Tuft finds the way his brother Brambleshade acts increasingly uncomfortable. Cricket Hollow thinks he can tell Blue Star something important, and Cricket Hollow is amazed at how skilled Brambleshade is. Alright, Primspec is eavesdropping on Small Blur. Daffodil Dream is giving advice to Small Blur. Hound Tuft is again sparring. Brambleshade is making everyone laugh. Miracle Jaw spends some time watching fish in a nearby river. Small Blur is giving advice to Lilac Wind. Cricket Hollow wants to get to know Small Blur better. Lilac Wind is eavesdropping on Blue Star. I should also mention Cricket Hollow is thoughtful and a renowned hunter, being 88 moons old, has hazel eyes, and is a gray speckled tomcat. That was a former kitty pet. Tiny Noise is hoping for a break. Blue Star almost got lost near some two leg nests. Gonna have Lilac Wind go by himself. Trying to find some thyme, and did manage to find some thyme. Let's see. Primspec, unfortunately, got head damage due to a cabin. There's a scent of a fox. They managed to fight it off. Let's see. Bramble Shade landed on his feet nimbly, Daffodil Dream has a runny nose, Lilac Wind's feeling better, and was also bickering with the medicine cat of another clan. Goodness. Primspec is telling jokes about Bramble Shade. Bramble Shade goes to tell a secret to Daffodil Dream, only for Daffodil Dream to tell someone else's secret. 
Small Blur finds a bit of fluff that smells like Hound Tub and adds it to his nest. Small Blur is telling a story to Daffodil Dream. Miracle Draw reassures Hound Tuft about something that was bothering him. Miracle Draw tells Prim Spec to count on him to, in a difficult situation. Daffodil Dream thinks Prim Spec was nice to him today. Blue Star is talking with Bramble Shade. Blue Star, Cricket Hollow, and Small Blur had a nice talk. Tiny Noise is glad to have a clanmate like Hound Tuft. Tiny Noise spends some time with Hound Tuft and they understand each other a bit better. Lilac Wind made Tiny Noise laugh again and again. Lilac Wind is letting Daffodil Dream share some of his troubles with him. Hound Tuff wants to explore the whole territory with his brother Daffodil Dream. Cricket Hollow swaps prey with Lilac Wind. Cricket Hollow stares at Daffodil Dream with an unreadable expression. Interesting. Yeah, Prim Spec, she's got some head damage right now and she wants to compliment Miracle Jaw's fighting techniques. Let's actually check out all of their relationships. Let's see, she does have a dislike for Blue Star, and a little dislike for Small Blur and, Bram and her brother Bramble Shade. But she does like everybody else, mainly. Daffodil Dream is thinking about a strange tulip object he saw recently. He's a little sick with a runny nose. He has a small little crush on Marigold Jaw. He slightly dislikes Blue Star, but not a lot, just a little. Hound Tuft is wondering about Bog Splash and Star Clan. Let's see, he slightly dislikes Blue Star, his brother Bramble Shade, and Tiny Noise, but likes everybody else. Okay. Bramble Shade thinks Tiny Noise is doing a good job as deputy. Let's see, has like the smallest little dislike for Blue Star, but kind of likes everyone else. Miracle Draw winked playfully at a clanmate from across the camp clearing. He has a small romantic interest in both Small Blur and Daffodil Dream and does not dislike anybody. Small Blur plans to go on a stroll with a cat today. Yeah, he has a big romantic interest for Blue Star. He has a small romantic interest in Marigold Draw and a teeny tiny little bit of something for Lilac Wind. Has a little bit of dislike for Daffodil Dream and Prim Spec, but that's all. Cricket Hollow is chatting with Lilac Wind about what it's like to be a medicine cat. He's still developing his relationships, but he doesn't dislike anybody. Lilac Wind plans to go out to gather herbs today. He has a small crush on Small Blur and Tiny Noise. That's about it. He doesn't really dislike anybody. Tiny Noise is hoping Blue Star doesn't assign him to Dawn Patrol tomorrow. Let's see. Tiny Noise mainly likes everybody. Has a small dislike for Cricket Hollow. Blue Star saw some two legs near camp today. Interesting. So she has some romantic feelings for Miracle Jaw and for Tiny Noise. But not for Small Blur. Small Blur is purely platonic. Interesting. Okay. Rather complicated relationships. Let's have Lilac Wind go out. Got some Tansy together. Let's see. There's a badger making a den on another clan territory. They tried to wait to warn them, but they had waited for a long time with no, no one showing up. Let's see, managed to dis didn't disguise their scent for hunting, but managed to hunt well regardless. Bramble Shade went missing for a few days. Miracle Draw played with a kitty pet over the border and got a stomach ache. Goodness. Prim Spec wants to sneak along the border with Tiny Noise. Prim Spec, Cricket Hollow, and Miracle Draw had a good talk. Bramble Shade bickered about something trivial with Small Blur. 
Bramble Shade could spend hours listening to Miracle Jaw's voice. Small Blur promises to always look out for his uh, unofficial adopted brother Tiny Noise. Small Blur comes up with a plan to sneak out of camp with Daffodil Dream. Miracle Jaw is always happy to be around Blue Star. Miracle Jaw appreciates Prince Beck telling him that he had a feather on, stuck to his face. Daffodil Dream snuggled up against his brother Bramble Shade. Blue Star thinks uh, the prey Miracle Jaw is eating into looks amazing and is jealous. Tiny Noise covered for Daffodil Dream on something minor. Tiny Noise, Blue Star, and Bramble Shade took a nice little sun bath. Tiny Noise had a mock battle with Hound Drift. Lilac Wind is amazed at how skilled Prim Spec is. Lilac Wind challenged Hound Tough to spar with him. Hound Tough had Daffodil Dream bump into him, and he didn't even apologize. Tiny Noise is being considerate with Cricket Hollow. Cricket Hollow wishes he could get his pelt to shine like Prim Specs. Interesting. Okay. Let's see, trying to find some thyme, and did find some thyme. Let's see, there's a scent of a fox. We will proceed. And they managed to get rid of the fox. There's some paw prints, and they drove off a rogue together without a fight. Cats are doing better. No more stomach ache or runny noses. Prim Spec is checking on Blue Star. Bramble Shade is surprised about Small Blur's life. Small Blur waves to Tiny Noise with his tail. Small Blur comes up with a plan to sneak out of camp with Daffodil Dream. Miracle Jaw waves to Blue Star with his tail. Miracle Jaw appreciates Prim Spec telling him he had a feather stuck to his face. Daffodil Dream is sharing prey with his brother Hound Tuft. Blue Star is talking with Hound Tuft. Tiny Noise and Bramble Shade realize they have more in common than they thought. Tiny Noise and Hound Tuff argued about something important and risking the clan's safety. Goodness. Lilac Wind brought Crooked Hollow some fresh kill. Lilac Wind thinks Daffodil Dream isn't very considerate of others. Hound Tuff called Miracle Jaw by the wrong name. Crooked Hollow helped Lilac Wind pick burrs out of his fur. Cricket Hollow drew the ire of Hound Tough by deliberately taking the last of his favorite messing materials for himself. Well, that was rather rude, Cricket Hollow. Prim Speck is showing off a shiny trinket she found while exploring. You have head damage. You shouldn't be going out anywhere. Daffodil Dream is giving advice to Miracle Jaw. Hound Tuft is smiling warmly at his clanmates. Bramble Shade plans to go on a stroll with some cat today. Miracle Jaw is sparring. Small Blur is playing a prank on Hound Tuft. Cricket Hollow wants to be alone today. Lilac Wind is struggling to remember all the names of herbs. Tiny Noise is complaining about being sent on a dawn patrol. And Blue Star is currently basking in the sun. As she should. Let's see, trying to find some more thyme and found some more thyme. A large rat and managed to catch it. Good. There's a scent of a fox, and they manage to drive it off of their territory. Heat exhaustion, small blur, tried to confess to Blue Star again, but got rejected, and was also caught breaking the warrior code. Maybe that's why you were rejected. And Daffodil Dream decided to adopt a litter of kits that a kitty pet left. Oh, he's following in his adopted mom's footsteps. That's so sweet. <laughs> Oop. Goodness, kitten. Sorry, my cat has learned where the power button on my computer is, and sometimes when she wants my attention, she'll put her paws very, very close to it. She has turned it off before, so I'm trying to make sure she does not and cut my recording short here for you guys. Let's see, Prim Spec has been spending more time with Small Blur, Bramble Shade's checking on Marigold Jaw, Small Blur appreciates Daffodil Dream about the feather, Small Blur is happy to grab some fresh kill for Bramble Shade, Small Blur wonders about what Blue Stars thinks about mates and got rejected, Marigold Jaw is hoping Daffodil Stream notices him, Marigold Jaw wants to explore the whole territory with Prim Spec. 
Daffodil Dreams thinks his brother Brambleshade has a strange sense of humor. Laquin wonders if Junko, Kit, could use some help getting introduced to the other clanmates. Primspec offers Junko Kit some feathers as a welcome gift, being a good auntie. Tiny Noise is welcoming Junko Kit. Primspec asks River Kit if he could use some help getting introduced. And so did Cricket Hollow. Small Blur offers Cricket River Kit some tips for building a new nest. Blue Star tells Hound Tough he'll, she'll save him a piece of fresh kill. Tiny Noise thinks Cricket Hollow is nice to him today. Primspec specked on Tiny Noise's foot and pretended not to notice. Lilac Wind swapped prey with Miracle Jaw. Lilac Wind came up with a plan to sneak out of camp with Daffodil Dream. Hound Tuft acknowledges Junko Kit with a twitch of his whiskers. Cricket Hollow and Lilac Wind enjoy each other's company. Cricket Hollow thinks Hound Tuft was nice to him today. And Cricket Hollow left a gift in Lilac Wind's nest for him to find. Alright, so we got two kits. Two kits that Daffodil Dream has, has adopted. Little Junko Kit. She is impulsive and has morbid curiosity. She looks very similar to Daffodil Dream. Being a smoky golden little she-cat with these bright yellow eyes. She is three moons old. And then we have River Kit, who is a daydreamer and quick to make peace. He looks to be like a bangle, dark gray, like a grayish blue. Tom with heather blue eyes, very cute little boy, very unique. Daffodil Dream must be a proud papa to them. Primspec was being a very good auntie as well. Let's see. Lilac Wind is playing a prank on River Kid, that's not nice. Goodness. Be nice to the babies. Let's see. Trying to find some marigold and did manage to find some. Let's see. Managed to have a productive and satisfying hunt together. Checking out a maned wolf creature. Interesting. Okay. Primspec's head damaged healed. Small Blur keeps getting rejected from by Blue Star. <laughs> and Bramble Sage heat exhaustion is all gone. Primspec chats with Blue Star. Bramble Shade is sparring with Primspec. Primspec, bleh. Small Blur helps Primspec prick burrs out of her fur. Small Blur thinks River Kit was nice to him today. Small Blur got rejected by Blue Star again. What is that, the fourth time? Buddy, you're too deep in the friend zone for this. Miracle Draw <clears throat> is giving Junko Kit a cat a task. Miracle Draw is also complaining that Junko Kit never does anything helpful. There, she is a baby. <laughs> Daffodil Dream is jealous that Miracle Draw got praised by the leader. Ooh, interesting. Daffodil Dream, Primspec, and Junko Kit had a nice talk. Aw, that's cute. Family bonding. Blue Star saw Cricket Hollow the other day, but didn't get a chance to say hi. Blue Star, Bramble Shade, and Junko Kit had a nice little talk. Blue Star cheered up River Kit after a disagreement. Blue Star stayed up all night thinking of ways to impress Miracle Jaw. Wow. Tiny Noise overheard a joke from Miracle Jaw that he didn't get. Tiny Noise tells a secret to Daffodil Dream, only for Daffodil Dream to tell someone else's secret to him. Daffodil Dream, you're just not good at keeping anyone's secrets. Lilac Wind admires Daffodil Dream's dedication. Lilac Wind helps Blue Star pick burrs out of her fur. Hound Tuft is complaining that his brother never does anything helpful. Poor Daffodil Dream. He's trying to be a parent, Hound Tuft. Cricket Hollow went to tell a secret to Blue Star, only for Blue Star to tell someone else a secret to him. Cricket Hollow had River Kit bump into him, and he didn't even apologize. Well, that was rude to a baby. 
Junko Kit stared at Tiny Noise with an unreadable expression, and River Kit was talking to Bramble Shade. These little babies. <laughs> they are baby. <laughs> Goodness. You gotta be nice to the babies. Bramble Shade is reluctantly allowing his niece and nephew to play with his tail. Meanwhile, Hound Tuft is giving advice to his little niece. <laughs> Goodness. Cricket Hollow wonders how Junko Kid is doing. You bumped into her brother and didn't apologize. That was rude of you, Cricket Hollow. Lilac One doesn't want to be on the Dawn Patrol. You're our only medicine cat. You gotta go out. Goodness. A silly, silly man. Let's see, trying to find some burdock, but unfortunately did not find any that time. There's an abandoned baby! But unfortunately, the baby couldn't survive. Let's see, some trash. They couldn't figure out the purpose of the object, but we do not like those that litter in this household. Primspec's tail was injured by a fox, and River Kit is, is now wearing some jay feathers. Primspec wishes she could get her pelt to shine like Junko Kit's. Bramble Shade sees that Marigold Draw's piece of prey looks tastier and does a prey swap. Small Blur shares tongues with Marigold Draw. Small Blur reassures Primspec about something that was bothering her. Marigold Draw bristles after being scolded by Daffodil Dream. Marigold Draw is giving advice to Junko Kid. Goodness, that could be a little thing of revenge <laughs> against Daffodil Dream. My goodness. Daffodil Dream is having a wonderful time discussing clan news with his son, River Kit. Blue Star made Primspec laugh again and again. Blue Star is always happy to be around little River Kit. Tiny Noise is talking with Daffodil Dream. Tiny Noise and Junko Kit have a good discussion. Lilac Wind settles near Small Blur to eat fresh kill. Lilac Wind avoids running into any cat, but Hound Tuft interrupts his peaceful silence. Cricket Hollow says hello to Hound Tuft, but he looks pretty glum still. Cricket Hollow thinks Hound Tuft isn't very considerate of others. Listen, leave Hound Tuft alone. Cricket Hollow surprises Primspec with something nice. Junko Kit asks Small Blur to compare the size and sharpness of their claws together. Goodness, a little menace in the making. River Kit avoids facing his sister directly while talking. <laughs> goodness. These little ones. And he's being annoying to other cats as well. Goodness. <laughs> they are both being annoying, but I feel like that is peak sibling behavior. I personally don't have any siblings, but... From what I do know about siblings, uh, I would say that uh, not facing your sister to talk to her would possibly be something that siblings would do. Let's see... Daffodil Dream got startled by a squirrel. Goodness. Dawn Patrol is feeling lazy. Talking to his adopted dad. Wants to get to know Lilac Wind better. Wants to critique Daffodil Dream's fighting techniques. Good luck on that. Reciting names of herbs. Hoping for a break. And is playing a prank on Junko Kit. Goodness, Blue Star. <laughs> She has a small little thing for Small Blur now, but I'm afraid you're, like, deep in that friend zone, my guy. I'm sorry, but you are. <laughs> and she now has a little bit of a crush on Primspec. Goodness. Goodness. Let's see. Trying to find some dandelions, but unfortunately couldn't find any. Let's see. Managed to settle a dispute. There's a fox nearby, and they manage to drive it away. Junko Pa has her father Daffodil Dream as her mentor. River Pa has his uncle Bramble Shade as his mentor. Okay. Let's see, so much to see in the world. Sneaking out of camp. Helpful. Making sure to eat. 
just checking on these little things. I don't want to read them out loud at this time. Cricket Hollow had a disagreement with Lilac Wind over kits. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Let's see. Riverpaw, he is insecure and quick to make peace and is worried to lose in a real fight. Oh, baby. Junko Paw, oh, sorry, I should star him as well, is playing a prank on Cricket Hollow. She is vengeful and has morbid curiosity. Goodness. Truly a menace. <laughs> Absolute little menace she is. My goodness. Well, you two are going to go on your training patrol. and You find a nice little sunny spot. And you just talk about, you know, what was going on around and in your life. What you were like when you were a little kitten. And, you know, cute little things. Nice little bonding. Practicing teamwork together and helped Riverpaw gain some confidence when it comes to working with other cats. See, so trying to find some juniper berries, but unfortunately couldn't find any. There's a noise. Managed to catch a rabbit before it disappeared. Quite nice. Small blur keeps breaking the warrior code. <laughs> Lilac wind. Healed his running nose, but then immediately got it back. Chunko Paw is now wearing some moth wings. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Blue Star is complaining that Junko Paw never does anything helpful. She's learning, Blue Star. Laliquin cleared up a misunderstanding with Junko Paw. Jukopaw appreciates tiny noise, and Riverpaw admires Small Blur's dedication. Aww. Making his friends laugh at the expense of himself. No, baby boy. No. <laughs> Jukopaw is eavesdropping on her uncle, Brambleshade. Of course she is. She is a menace, I tell you. She is a menace in training, little Jukopaw. Let's see, talking about having possible dreams. Had an argument. Let's see, trying to find some plantain and did find some that time. Muddy paw prints and drove off a rogue. Primspec's mangled tail has healed and is now has a scar. Brambleshade confessed to Marigold Drop, a cut reject. <laughs> Everybody's being rejected. <laughs> River Paws fighting back tears after missing a catch. Poor boy. Junko Paws asking Cricket Hollow for some advice. She feels happy despite having a scar. Sparring, motivated, giving advice. Almost got lost near some two-leg nests. Wonders how Riverpaw is doing. Wants to be the new deputy. That's not happening. You're compassionate now? Okay. Goodness. Goodness. All right, time for training, kiddos. Talking about having Dreams from Star Clan, possibly. New fighting techniques, but didn't step up to teach, which made Junko Paw very upset. Managed to find some blackberries. Tried to take control, but tumbled. <laughs> and managed to practice some new hunting techniques. Okay, so they had a good time together. See, Tiny Noise has green cough, Lilac wins better, and River Paw has green cough. Oh dear. You will be okay, little boy. Finds that today is going to be a better day than the last. That's so cute. And is in the medicine den after a small injury. Probably also going there to check on her brother. Let's see, new fighting techniques. But still did not learn anything. 
Daffodil Dream, you cannot do this to your daughter. That's not going to be helpful. Found some more blackberries. Let's see. Managed to help dig Cricket Hollow out of the loose soil. Tempted to eat the prey. And did. Very naughty, Primspec. Tiny Noise died from the green cough. Rest in peace, our deputy. Our first, our first big loss. Skip Tail was our first loss, but to lose our deputy as well is a pretty big blow. Daffodil Dream is now the new deputy. Yeah, I guess Blue Star would want to have somebody like younger as well as she was younger. Rest in peace, Tiny Noise. Enjoy your time with Skip Tail. No doubt she is also looking after her grandkids. She's currently asking Brambleshade for advice on passing an assessment, and Riverpaw is asking for advice from Hound Tuft. Okay. Some interesting family dynamics today. Jokopa isn't acting like her usual self. Well, yeah, she's been constantly disappointed by her father. <laughs> And she's not interested in talking about it. I think she's still upset. Let's see. Managed to find some juniper that time. And we brought a kitty pet, Anya. Like from a spy family? She is a senior adult. A single stripe light ginger she-cat with emerald green eyes. She is... Charismatic, an excellent teacher, and a good mediator, wearing a blue nylon collar. She's got white cough. Hopefully we'll be able to help with that. We will change her name to be... What's a good name for her? I think a good name for her would be Shining... Shining Crest. That's a pretty name for her. She's now Shining Crest, a lovely lady. Riverpaw is feeling better, and so is Shining Crest, which is great. Junko Paw is currently relaxing. She is grumpy now. <laughs> well, I guess that is better than Vengeful. Riverpaw is still insecure because he was sick for so long. Poor boy. You will be okay, my little man. Let's see. Going to gather some moss. And did gather some moss. Okay, at least you did something together. Trying to practice how to hide within the tall grass, but unfortunately got a bite wound. Oof. Poor Riverpaw can't catch a break. <laughs> Got some oak leaves, some paw prints in the mud, and drove off a trespassing rogue. Cats are doing better. We now have Junko Dusk, honored for her dedication. And Riverpaw is now River Flood, honoring him for his determination. He is insecure and a skilled mediator. He is still injured with that bite wound. But he is giving advice to his aunt Primspec. Interesting. Okay. And Junko Dust wants to be chosen as the new deputy. She is fierce and has ghost sense. I don't think you will be chosen to be a deputy since your father is currently the deputy, but I suppose we shall see what happens. <laughs> Goodness, with this lovely little family. Let's see, couldn't find anything. Small burrow, managed to get a rabbit from it. Let's see. Found something in the woods. Small blur and miracle jaw became mates. Wow, okay. I find that kind of funny personally. <laughs> that they became mates, considering Small Blur kept confessing to Blue Star. She wasn't interested, but she was interested in Marigold Jaw. Someone else confessed to Marigold Jaw. I think it was Bramble Shade. 
and got rejected, but these two are like, nah, it'll just be. <laughs> she even now likes Small Blur now. That's so funny to me. I'm sorry. That's really funny. <laughs> That's super funny to me. Oh, goodness. Always so funny. So funny. Did not find any tansy, unfortunate. Went to settle a dispute. Talking about a vision, but immediately kind of withdrawed from it. Oh, wow. Okay, so they are a thruple now. Okay. So Small Blur is now mates with Marigold Jaw and Blue Star. Forgive me if that's not the correct one. I th I think it's it's meant to be thruple, polyamorous, polycule. And River Flood has healed from his bite wound. Look at this beautiful little boy. And wants to compliment Bramble Shade's fighting techniques. That is very sweet. Drinko Dusk is wondering what living with two legs would be like. I think you'd be too fierce for them, personally. <laughs> So Marigold Jaw has Small Blur, and then Small Blur has both Marigold Jaw and Blue Star. She's currently feeling a little down though, and she is daring now. Okay. She is daring instead of confident. Good for her. Got some Mallow. It's very hot out, but they had a successful hunt. Badger making its den on another clan territory. They wanted to warn them, but nobody showed up. Cricket Hollow sprained his paw, because of course he did. Of course he did! Betney, got some Betney, good. Didn't bother to follow the small little fox did manage to settle a dispute, so Blue Star really is proving her worth. Let's see, headache, fleas, eh, nothing too bad. Did find some wild garlic, which is good. There's a kitty pet, Dakiri. Is that how it's pronounced, Dakiri? He is strict and a beloved kit sitter. He is a smoky, Dark gray and white Tom with green eyes. He is a senior adult at 113 moons and wears a purple leather collar. We shall be changing your name, sir. You will be Tall... Tall Whisker. I like that name for you, Tall Whisker. A silly, silly man. Sent up a mouse and managed to catch it. It's a badger den, but again, nobody comes around for us to warn them, unfortunately. Blue Star's expecting babies! That's exciting. I'm excited to see what her kits will be. Got some oak leaves. Missed a rat, unfortunate. Managed to get a gopher out of an abandoned den. Runny nose, having a small litter, okay. I do want to just skip to see the babies, but I will still do patrols and stuff because I do feel like that would be important. We're not gonna go near a bunch of two legs. We don't trust them. Managed to help out another clan as well. All right. Blue Star and Small Blur had three kittens, and Shining Crest is retired. Lilac Wind has Green Cough, and Tall Whisker has retired. Let us see the babies! Oh wow. They look like they take a lot after Blue Star. So, first things first, we got little Holly Kit. She's got the cyan blue eyes of her father with a bangle coat. I believe she is. White and gray, I believe. She looks to be maybe white and gray. Swish Kit looks very similar to her papa. Small Blur. She's got pale blue eyes like Blue Star has. 
but is very speckled, like her papa small blur. Very, very cute. And then we have little cloud kit. What seems to be a mostly white with patches of like a dark gray or black bangle pattern with his mama's pale blue eyes. Let's actually check. So Holly Kit is a white and dappled pale she kit. Okay, so very similar to her mama, except with the cyan eyes. Swish Kit is a speckled silver she cat, so just like her papa. And Cloud Kit is a white and dappled gray. Okay, so I'd say a decent mix of both parents. All right. Let's see. Didn't bother chasing after a fox kit. Managed to get a rabbit. I'll just do one more moon so that we can see them when they are not little potatoes. Ladak one is better. We now have Kiko, who is now Kiko Stripe. I'm going to change that first part. Let me see, where is Kiko? Kiko! Kiko Stripe. He is righteous with valuable insight. He is a young adult. He is a mackerel orange and white tabby with a blue and gold nylon collar with emerald green eyes. You're a beautiful boy. We'll call you Flicker Stripe. I think that is nice. He is righteous with valuable insight. And here are the babies. Here we got little Holly Kit. She is noisy and a careful listener. Two things that I don't think exactly go well together, but okay. <laughs> she is practicing a mighty roar. She is a beautiful little baby girl. Swish Kit just wants to snuggle. She is daring and a restless sleeper. And little Cloud Kit here wants to have some fun. He is bossy with an active imagination. Goodness. Goodness! Two girls and one little boy. So exciting. So amazing. I'm just going to save it here and I think that's going to be the end of the video today. Um, I know it's only been 33 moons. I think I usually try to do this a little bit longer, but I wanted to kind of take my time, try something a bit new. Uh, do let me know what you think about this uh, different format down in the comments. Please remember to stay hydrated and take care of yourself. I hope you all have a good day and goodbye everybody.